Hi everyone, Jessica here from Paper Ink Stamp and welcome back to my channel. So today's video we're going to be looking at issue 82 of Die Cutting Essentials magazine and this month's free gift is called Retro Santa. So here we have a layering die which will create you a Santa face. We've also got um, a sentiment die here which says believe and you can download as well eight papers and sentiments. So I'm going to be creating some tags in today's video because um, I thought this little Santa face would work perfectly for that. Um, so I have downloaded three of the papers um, and we're going to be creating three different tags with our Santa die. I'm going to show you how to layer it up and then just sort of two different ways that you can um, create your Santa face. So for the moment let's just take a quick look in the magazine itself to show you some ideas of what you can do. So you've got a hints and tips uh, ju page just there. Then here we have got uh, Feeling Festive. Um, so this is Sharon. She was one of the Card Maker of the Year uh, winners as well. So it's fantastic to see her in the magazine. And she's done a uh, four different cards here using the papers and the sentiments. As I said, um, you can download, download them from the uh, Craft World website. And there's just an email address there that you can kind of follow. Um, but she's used the papers. We've got square cards and circle cards. Um, lots and lots of, of fun here that you can do with this Santa face. So we've just got some really fantastic ways of using the papers as well. So we've got uh, just down here some sort of postcard style uh, in an easel style card. Um, we've got just different shaped cards so you can really kind of use this in whichever way uh, that you want to. And we've got just you know cutting small little pieces. Uh, it looks like that she's made her own paper here um, and kind of done a little embossed impression using um, the little holly die there. So that's pretty cool. So then we've got another set of cards this is called a uh, glitter and sparkle um, so we've got lots and lots of really lovely glitter on here we've got some textured paper and just another way of using that Santa face it is super versatile so you know you could use it on different kinds of projects so in the next issue of Die Cutting Essentials, we have got the Nativity Bulbord die set. So we've got four dies just here. So this one looks like it's gonna cut into your paper. This one looks like it's just a, a lovely border and then you've got a few just accessory pieces. And then you do have 69 papers and sentiments that you can download as well. So that was a look at the magazine. So now let's get into today's video actually using our Retro Santa die set. So for our layering set, we do have this die here. This is gonna be your base and you'll be able to build up your Santa from there. We've then got his uh, face. And what's good about these is all of these tiny little dies, they are all connected together. So you're not gonna to have to worry about losing them. But we've got the face, the nose and his mouth. And that's just gonna fit in there really nicely. And then this side, we have the beard, the mustache, we've got eyebrows and we've got our hat as well. So I'm just gonna pop the rest of it just to one side for the moment. I'm just gonna take a scrap piece of cardstock here and I'm simply just gonna lay this all uh, out onto this white card. So there's two ways that you can create your Santa. So you can cut them just from white cardstock and you can color them in, which is what we're gonna do here for our first Santa. Or you could die cut from colored cardstock. So here's all of our die cut pieces. So again, so we've got our base. We can then pop uh, his face on there. You can line up uh, his beard very very easily then you have the hat to go on top so it's literally just uh, layering all of these pieces up but so we want to add a little bit of color to this so to color these in I've just got a just a piece of scrap paper there um, and I've just got a handful of basic um, alcohol markers so I've got my tri blend so I'm going to go in with the dark shade for his hat so for his hat, I also want the front bit of it, which is gonna be the fur to stay white. So I'm just gonna draw around that. Okay, so there we have his hat. So then I'm gonna come in uh, with just some fair skin for his face. Let's add a little bit of pale pink to his cheeks. Then we've got uh, his mouth and then virtually for the rest of this it's just going to be white so I'm going to take my um, brown grey blend just in the light and I'm just going to add just a tad bit of colour just around the edges of this and then I'm going to take a colourless blender 
So this one is from my uh, craft markers. And I'm just gonna come and kind of blend that color out. And it's just gonna give the impression that it's got a little bit of shadow, but it is white. So now we've got all of our elements, let's actually bring this together now. So what I'm going to do is just pop my hat on. I'm going to pop my beard on as well because then I need to figure out exactly where my face is going to sit. I'm going to use just a little bit of liquid glue to stick this together. So we're just going to go... In there and we're just going to kind of wiggle him around until we've got that right placement then we can add uh, our beard first because we need these little pieces to be tucked underneath his hat so his eyebrows we've got some nice little space in there so we're just going to add some glue and we can pop those into place so for putting the nose, the mouth and the moustache on, so his moustache is going to kind of line up kind of just there. So we need to put his mouth on uh, first, so let's just add a blob of glue and then I'm just going to kind of tuck that in there. Next then will be his moustache. And then last but not least, we can then pop his nose just on top. And then last but not least, we can add his hat. And all you need to do is literally just line it up uh, with your kind of base shape. And there's our Santa. So what I'm gonna do is just add a little bit of color to the edge of this just so you can't sort of see much of that white behind. So there's a up close look of the sand that we've created. So it's really, really basic. It's easy to put together. Um, of course, you can sort of jazz it up. We've seen in the magazine, you can add glitter and things like that. But, you know, if you've just got white cardstock and you want to colour it in, you can absolutely do that this way. And it is really, really easy. So the other way that you can die cut your Santa is from some coloured cardstock. So I've got another piece of white just here um, and I've got three of my uh, classic cards from Craft Perfect. I've got Misty Grey which we're going to use for the beard and the eyebrows. I've got Ballet Pink which we'll use for his face and then we've got Chili Red which we can use for his hat. So this is a really fantastic way of just using up uh, scrap pieces that you might have. So now I've got all of my coloured dye bit pieces, so I can literally just go ahead and put this together. What I've done for the hat is I've cut two of these, one from that chili red and one from the white. All I'm going to do with this is literally just snip apart uh, the sort of furry section of his hat. And we can add that on top of our uh, red hat. So there's a closer look at our two Santas. So of course it really depends what kind of um, card you're gonna use. You could cut the beard out in white like we did for this one, but you know you can just use then what you've got. But you've got two different ways there of being able to create your Santa, either uh, die cut from white and then color in, or you can die cut it straight away just from colored cardstock. I've cut three of my tags from white and then I've cut three more tags out of my patterned paper. So the reason that I've done this is because this is quite thin and I just wanted it to be a little bit more sturdy. So I am then just gonna glue that uh, on top of that. And then we can get started actually creating our tags.
So here is our three finished tags and I really, really love how these have turned out. Um, using all the layers, I try to use kind of each of the three papers as much as possible. Um, so we've got the background, but then, you know, as you've seen, we've added in then just elements and bits and pieces from the other papers. And I think that it just goes together so nicely when they design their sort of paper pads that they're gonna put together. Um, obviously everything is designed to be cohesive and I think it just really, really works. So um, these two obviously, I only created two of the Santas um, but I really love just that layered look and I think with tags and sort of smaller projects it's a lot um, I find it a lot easier to kind of build those layers up so I used the vellum in all three of these tags and I think it's a fantastic way of adding extra layers without really hiding all of your pattern papers or you know backgrounds whatever it is that you've um, created or you're using it's a really great way to kind of um, separate the background with the foreground and just to add another layer in there I've tried to use as many sort of different shapes and things we've got the circles we've got um, all of the different uh, fancy kind of nesting dies um, strips in here we've got just you know regular kind of squares and rectangles and things I've tried to kind of build it up and, and just make it more interesting and I've added then that twine to the top and I think that really finishes it off uh, this sentiment here came from the Funky Fossil Designs um, sentiment stamp set that I bought and I haven't had a chance to use it that's the, I think that's the first time I've used it and, and I absolutely love it and I think it looks fantastic using then that gold embossing powder there as well. For this sentiment here I used one of the uh, previous Simply Cards and Papercraft uh, free gifts so just for that sentiment and then of course we have the Believe that came with this particular die set so even if you were just to use the papers like I have uh, for this tag here and just incorporated other um, things that I have in my stash. You can of course do that, these papers are beautiful, but then you can use then that layering Santa just to create a really great and fun topper. So that's gonna be our tags finished for today's video. So if you do like them, please give this video a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below if you want. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please do so so you don't miss out on any future videos. So that's it for today. Thanks very much for watching and happy crafting.